Emma Brooks has traveled from Hampshire with her mum, Rosemary. Oh. Hi, you okay? Hi. Take a seat, welcome. I have honestly no idea what that is, but I can see it's got wires coming out of it. So, Mark. Yes. This looks right up your street. Oh, what have we got? So, it's a radio that was used by my grandfather during the war wow. in occupied Jersey. Where did this come along then, if they confiscated all the radios? Well, this one my father made from bits and pieces so that he could listen to it. And then pieces of news used to take up to his club and pin on the notice board. Oh, wow. He'd be gathering all the information of what's happening with and what's That's going right, on. Yes. I only was aware of it right near the end of the war. I can remember my father letting me listen to them. What was, what was he like? He was quite a character, had a great sense of humour, and he always made you feel very... I never felt fear, if you know what I mean. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you both. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, and Thank good you. luck. Thank <laughs> you, indeed. I think we'll need it. Bye-bye. I've got to have a look. I've got yeah, to have a look. Go on. Let's have a look. You've got your work cut out there, haven't you? It's going to be interesting. This is a valve tester, which will allow me to prove if the valve is still suitable for use. So if I just turn that on, when I press this button called meter, I then expect this little meter pointer to move to 0.9. If it's around that figure, the valve is like the day it was produced. Let's have a look. I press it. Look at that. Way over. So the valve is actually brilliant. It's absolutely spot on perfect. That is as good as the day it left the factory. But that's only one part of this. The coils have come very loose over age. This coil principally allows a signal from the radio waves to come in and allow it then to go to the valve. If they're loosely wound, or literally in this case coming apart, then it won't be efficient. So I'm using a contact adhesive just to push this all back together nice and tight. So we've got it all hidden nicely in there. That works a treat. And you can, of course, lift that off using that. It will be so nice that when Rosemary actually sees this and even hears it, that part of her father is still here today, still there working, which I find amazing. At the weekends, my mum sadly passed away. She was really excited to see the radio again. Um, I know she was so excited when we dropped it off, but obviously, very sadly, and is unable to be here, which is why my daughter Catherine has come along with me. Hi. Uh... I know you've had some terrible news recently, but I hope today can be a happy day for you. God, I can't believe it. I just, Mum would have been really so, um, she would have made some silly joke. <laughs> but she would have just been so happy right now, wouldn't she? Oh, bless you. Would you like to have a listen? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Mum would have been so amazed. She would have been really, really happy. I'm absolutely honoured that we got to meet her and have been a small part of the radio's history. So thank you so much. Definitely. Yes, it has. It's been, it's been a real pleasure to do it now in her memory. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. It's been a great pleasure and an honour. Thank you. You're Bye -bye. welcome. Bye-bye.